Hi, I'm Stacy Francis of Francis Financial. We're a Finley independent wealth management firm. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit more about what the market's doing. We're gonna spend about five minutes together and we're gonna talk about the main highlights. If you'd like to dive deeper, we have some great resources for you. My colleague and I this morning, Avni Ramani, went through a in-depth workshop on everything you need to know about why the stock market is falling, will it continue, and what you should do when the markets are down. So I highly encourage you to take a listen in and um, you can get the link in the email below um, or we can also send it to you. This year has been quite a year. Um, there's nowhere to hide. Every asset class is down. Uh, the S&P 500 is down 17% year to date. Developed International down 14%. Emerging markets the same. And even bonds, you cannot hide in bonds, are down almost 10%. Why is that? Well, there's a lot of factors at play. The first is inflation. We're seeing the highest inflation numbers that um, we've come across in over 40 years, upwards of 7%. And much of this is due to the Ukraine and Russia war, greatly increasing the cost as we all have felt at the pump, um, but also energy and commodity prices in general. We've also seen inflation increases because of COVID. Uh, higher cost of wages, uh, more difficult supply chain issues and transportation, all adding up to, well, one big ouch. But the good news is, is that we expect, as well as many of our analyst counterparts, that inflation will be tamed and all of the important efforts that the Federal Reserve is taking uh, under their wing and doing right now will be able to bring inflation back to a more, much more healthy rate of about 3% by the fall. Just to give you an idea, in our financial plans for our clients, we use an inflation rate of 3.1%. So it is right within the estimations of what we expect as a healthier long-term inflation rate. The other piece that's been um, impacting the market is in interest rates. Interest rates have risen uh, numerous times. There's been right hikes and actually we expect more to happen. The Federal Reserve is using interest rate hikes to try and cool our economy to help keep inflation at bay. But unfortunately, it has a negative effect. Not only does it make housing more expensive and borrowing money, um, but it also causes the price of bonds to drop. The price of bonds is an inverse relationship with inflation, or sorry, with interest rates. When interest rates go up, well, bond prices come down. And that's what we're seeing. So we've done some very important things to protect you and protect our clients, their portfolio. The first off is uh, back last year, we moved from long-term bonds to short-term bonds. Long-term bonds, their year-to-date loss 20%, worse than the S&P 500. And those short-term bonds, well, they've had a loss, but closer to three or 4%. That's where we are with our clients and where you should be too. Long-term bonds is not where you want your money. The second thing we've done is that we've moved our clients to high quality bonds from junk bonds or what some people might say at a cocktail party called high yield bonds. We did this a few years ago and we knew that that was going to be key for when the market does have a downturn. You see junk bonds, high yield bonds tend to react much more like stocks. When stock market goes down, so do junk bonds and high yield bonds. That's not where you want the airbag of your portfolio to be. The third thing that we've seen this year is that growth stocks have finally been tamed. Growth stocks over the last several years uh, have been on a rampage with high uh, returns and I would say even heady, um, frothy returns. 
we have brought our client portfolios back in balance, balancing their exposure to growth versus value-oriented stocks. We know that value-oriented stocks grow long-term in even more solidly with even higher returns over a period of 10, 20, 30 years. Research, historical research tells us that, and our portfolios are slightly weighted towards value. And so because of that too, our portfolios have not felt the same losses as those who were greatly exposed to Facebook or Google or some of those other names out there. And also what's really important is that our clients know that investing in low cost funds and exchange traded funds is the best way to get higher returns. Studies show that more expensive mutual funds and more expensive fees in exchange traded funds don't add to your return. If anything, they lower it. And our average portfolio expense rate is about 0 0.03. So point, uh, a third of 1%, a third of 1% if you, can, if you can believe it, very low. Our financial institution counterparts, competitors are closer to about 1%. I've even seen 1.1. When the market's doing great, no one thinks about fees, but we do. And even now that the market is not doing well, it becomes even that much more important. The other piece that's really important for our clients to know is that we are doing what's called tax loss harvesting. That's a fancy way of saying that we're selling your investments that are at a loss and buying investments similar to that so that you can lock in and be able to take those losses against your income. And it saves our clients hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes, depending on how large your portfolio is with us. It takes a lot of work, but we know that you benefit. And this is a great opportunity to use the losses in the market to save you on taxes, not only this year, but also for the long run. And finally, None of our clients are ever going to be backed into a corner to have to take money out of their portfolio after they've had a loss. That's because we make sure to have anywhere from six months at a minimum to 12 months of cash in their portfolio, particularly for those clients that are taking distributions, essentially a paycheck from their portfolio. And if you do have cash, we highly encourage you to look at I-bonds, inflation protected security, bonds, they are returning annualized almost 10%. This is for your cash, money that you wouldn't need for necessarily one year. There are some stipulations on how much money you can put in I-bonds, but it's a fantastic resource for you, particularly for your emergency fund, money that you don't need tomorrow. We've talked about so many things today. The things that are most important is keeping that broad diversification, not putting all your eggs in one basket and having both exposure to stocks and bonds in different parts of the market. Being smart with how you invest and making sure most importantly that you stay invested in good times and bad. And that's what we are here for. We understand that this is not a comfortable place to be. Our clients are worried about the market, but they don't need to be worried on their own. That's what we are here for, is to take that burden off your shoulders. We are watching your portfolio on a daily basis. We're making tweaks, we're making changes where appropriate. And know that our long-term clients, even those have gone through 2008, are tracking ahead of their financial plans. Their financial plan, we have a conservative 5% return each year, and all of our clients are doing better than that, or, or much more even, much significantly better than that, who have been with us for, for longer time periods. If you're a newer client, it's a little harder for you. You don't have that track record of knowing us for a decade and the, the great work that we do. So for you, I encourage you even more so to reach out to us. 
to help you walk, walk you through your portfolio, help you know what to expect. We expect that the market is going to calm down in about the three to five month time period, right when we start to see inflation really drastically reduce. We've already hit the peak of inflation. We know that from our research and we're going to see things starting to calm down. It's still not gonna be an easy road, but know that there is light at the end of the tunnel and that long-term this will be a blip just as April, 2020 was just as 2008. We saw long, long bull runs of positive returns after that. And so a recession, if we do have one, it will be a soft recession. And recessions you don't know happen until you look back and actually see them, that's how they work. But we are confident that the long-term performance in your portfolio is going to be there and it will be that necessary engine you need to get you to retirement and to age 95 and even beyond. Please reach out if you have questions, Stacy at francisfinancial.com. I'm here, our whole team is here from you. And we love to talk about the market. We love to talk about your portfolio. We love to talk about your financial plan. So please do reach out. Our biggest worry that we have is that we can't read your mind. We can't read who is worried and who is okay with what's going on. That's where we need your help. That's where we need you to reach out to us. And you know, between now and then, know that we're gonna to continue to put out videos, information, uh, recordings, articles, to try and answer any questions that you have. And most importantly, know that we're here for any meetings. Have a great day and thank you.